Thank you for coming. I think as many of you know, I have been doing ceramics and woodwork for a long time, and uh, I was fortunate to come from a family that had a lot of artists, both in my early family and my current family. Um, I started painting as a young person, but I don't paint as much anymore. I have done some. Uh, I had been doing woodwork since I was very young. I had an opportunity to take a class when I was at the Walter Reed when I was very young as a resident and learned how to use the machinery and I've been doing woodwork and I've increased the size of my shop over the years. And I like to do uh, one of a kind pieces and I have a book that Lynn, my daughter, helped me put together of maybe over a hundred pieces of furniture that I built. I get most of my lumber from uh, a sawmill west of town that saws local hardwood and I go out and pick out the wood that I want and I like a lot of figured wood uh, like spalted or with figures and then use that. I do with also veneering and some of this. I do steam bending and laminated bending and uh, I, I like to, I don't draw anything. It all comes from here as I get get up in the morning and I'm drinking coffee that I'm designing and then I go downstairs and pick out the wood I want and then see how it would fit together and then it, it's never always comes out exactly as I thought but it, 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 it grows as you do it. I have a big bonsai collection that I've been doing now for almost 60 years um, and about 25 years ago, I went over to what was then Sangamon State with Bob Dixon to learn how to make bonsai pots, and I made a few, but Bob stimulated me to move into other things, and so I started doing crystalline glazes and chino glazes and high fire and low fire. And so I've been doing ceramics for quite a long time, and I really enjoy the glazing more than the making, and uh, several of us that are here get together and share glazes and fire together and that's that's been a lot of fun. I uh, would like to uh, say that every piece would be different from every other piece. I rarely try to duplicate. Uh, someday I might make dinnerware or something but I haven't done that yet. And um, many of the glazes that you see are experimental glazes that we developed, did once or twice, tried again, redid it. Most of the Shino pieces, and, and Shino you may know is, is a, a Japanese glaze that was formed hundreds of years ago. They were really fired mainly in a wood fire kiln. These are all fired in a gas reduction kiln at uh, about 2300 degrees. Most of these pieces of uh, Shino have at least three glazes and sometimes more sprayed onto them. And some of them are funky, like all these splatter patterns, uh, platters that I've made with multiple glazes that are just sort of thrown on there. And that's something that I've just sort of been trying and doing uh, a lot lately. But uh, most of the glazes are sprayed and uh, one glaze sprayed on top of the other, and then most of the chinos have ash sprinkled on top uh, at the time that they are fired. So they would be different. The crystals, and a lot of people ask about how do you get the crystals on there. Uh, the crystals are zinc crystals, and as you know how crystals form on rocks in the, on the surface of the earth. This is the same process. This is a very uh, saturated zinc glaze. It's pretty runny, so you have to fire it on a little catcher and then grind that off. It's a very simple glaze. You fire it up to uh, a cone 10, very hot. Then you cool it down to around 2,000 degrees and then over four to six hours, you may raise it up and down a little bit and the crystals grow. And we don't have any way of knowing where they're gonna be and the, the shape a little bit can vary depend on the amount of compounds that you put into it and the level of firing. Uh, if you fire up and down around that 2000 mark, you can add halos or make speculated or do different things. And so it's, it's a lot of fun to try to see if you can do things differently. 
some pieces are fired more than once. Um, probably a handful of these chino blazes were fired either twice or three times. And a, and a couple of the others, uh, of even the crystals, can be fired more than once. Some of the crystals are done in a gas kiln with a little bit of reduction, uh, and most of them are fired in an electric kiln, but still at a, at a high temperature. I uh, work pretty much every day in my workshop, and so I'm producing more than I know what to do with, but uh, <laughs> you know, I'm glad you're here. Thank you. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions for Roland? Well, feel free to come on up and do it one-on-one, -on -one, but thank you, everybody. Um, there's plenty of food, plenty of wine, plenty to look at, so enjoy, and uh, thank you for coming out tonight.